We've all seen it in movies, and not just in movies. If you've spent time in the countryside visiting family or driving through farm country, you've definitely noticed it too. And let's be honest, it's hard to miss. Barns are almost always red. It's such a common detail that most of us don't even stop to think about it. But have you ever asked yourself, why are barns red? It's one of those everyday sights that hides an amazing story. Surprisingly, it has almost nothing to do with making them look nice and everything to do with practicality, chemistry, and tradition. Let's dive into this fascinating piece of history. Centuries ago, farmers didn't have endless rows of paint cans in every color imaginable like we do now. Honestly, paint wasn't even really a thing back then. No glossy finishes, no sunset red or autumn blush. It wasn't about making barns Instagram worthy. It was about survival. Wood, as sturdy as it may seem, doesn't hold up well against nature. It warps, rots, and gets eaten alive alive by fungi and termites. Picture this. You spend weeks building a barn, only to wake up one morning to find it half devoured by bugs or covered in mold. Frustrating, right? Farmers needed something, anything, to keep their barns standing strong against the elements. They didn't have fancy sealants or coatings, and resources were scarce. But necessity is the mother of invention. So they got creative. Enter the farmer's homemade solution, a primitive paint made from stuff they already had lying around. The recipe? A mix of skimmed milk, lime, and, wait for it, Rust, yes, rust, iron oxide, the substance that gives rust its reddish color was not just easy to find, it was a lifesaver. It turned out to be a natural preservative, protecting the wood by repelling mold, moss, and fungi. It kept the barn dry and safe, a fortress against the elements. Imagine termites and fungi taking one look at that barn and deciding, nope, this place is off limits. And the best part? Rust was practically everywhere. Farmers didn't have to look far to find it, making it the perfect ingredient for their concoction. Functional? Absolutely. Affordable? You bet. And as a bonus, it turned barns that iconic shade of red. So, why rust? Back then, iron was cheap and plentiful, and repurposing materials was second nature to farmers. Rust wasn't just practical, it was genius. And as luck would have it, the iron oxide in rust naturally gave the barns their bold red color. Fun fact, red was probably the very first barn color. That's how the tradition began. As time went on, paint manufacturing became more advanced, and farmers had access to a rainbow of options. But even with so many colors to choose from, red stuck around. Why? Because tradition is powerful. Once something becomes familiar and comforting, people don't want to change it. Red barns became part of the rural landscape, a symbol of stability, warmth, and homegrown charm. They were more than just buildings. They represented the heart of farm life. Now, let's not forget about economics. Red paint wasn't just a sentimental choice. It was also the cheapest option. Thanks to the widespread use of iron oxide in commercial pigments, red paint remained affordable, even as paint technology improved. For farmers working on tight budgets, the decision to stick with red was both practical and economical. Even today, red barns are so iconic that they've become almost like a brand for farming communities. It's a nod to history, practicality, and tradition all rolled into one. So, the next time you drive past a red barn, take a moment to appreciate it. That Old color isn't just for show. It's a story of resourcefulness, creativity, and a deep connection to the past. It's a reminder that even the simplest things around us can carry fascinating histories hiding in plain sight. And now you know why barns are red. Please like and subscribe. And also watch out for more cool facts. Cool.